we are sounding the alarm that the climate effects that we are experiencing today are going to visit larger countries tomorrow. I am Courtney Rattray, UN Undersecretary General and High Representative for Least Developed Countries, Landlocked Developing Countries, and Small Island Developing States. The world should sit up and take notice when people from small island developing states speak, especially on this subject. We are definitely at the front lines of this emergency. There is a problem, however, with our message getting through to the centers of power where it really needs to be heard. Markets can shape behavior. And what we want to see is not just a social transformation, but an economic transformation. And markets work through incentives and disincentives. The big transition to renewables is what needs to be happening in the developed, advanced economies. They're still too overly dependent on their addiction to carbon. In as much as people see the value in climate mitigation, and there's a lot of money that is going to speed the mitigation efforts in terms of cutting emissions, I think we can't take our eye off the ball in terms of the need for more climate financing to be directed towards climate change adaptation and what we can do with nature-based solutions. COP26 is pivotal. I have to say that I'm quite heartened by the fact that many people are starting to get the message chief amongst which are the young people. They will be the inheritors of a resource depleted world. If this was a fire station, it's house on fire time. I do think that we can still get there, but there's still time to save the world.